Indiana University East Department of Science, naming ethers. So when we name an ether, we have to first select a main chain. So we've got two chains around the oxygen. So we select one of them, the longest one as the main chain. So let's look at this example. Here I've got a methyl here and an ethyl here. So this is the longer chain, so this is my main chain. And the name of this will be ethane. Now, <clears throat> the rest of this, we're going to take a look at what the name of this is. This is a methyl group, and we instead of the O ending, we use the oxy ending. So this is the methoxy group. So this is methoxy ethane. It's a couple more examples. Here, this is my main chain. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So this is pentane. And then here I have an ethoxy group because I've got two carbons here. And this is in the two. Let's count up these carbons, number them. So here I have it in the two position. So it's two ethoxy pentane. Let's look at this example. Here, this is my main chain. That would be cyclopropane. And then here, again, I got an epoxy group in one position. So, here I have epoxy cyclopropane. Let's look at a couple other examples. Here I have two methoxy e propane. So let's draw propane one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And a two position I have a methoxy, so oxygen and then a methyl group here. Here I have cyclohexane as I mentioned. So I draw cyclohexane. And then in the one position I have epoxy. So if I set this as my one position. O, and then I've got an ethyl group here, and then here, if I at a two position, I have an ethyl group. So one, two. So this is one ethoxy, two ethyl cyclohexane. 